Welcome to Sudoku Primer. This channel is dedicated to showing you how to solve Sudoku puzzles without candidates. You learn ways to look at the puzzle differently. Go to sudokuprimer.com for uh, patterns and techniques and other things that will help you to learn how to, to uh, uh, solve puzzles without writing candidates. This is a hard puzzle from Charles Timmerman's new book, 1,000 Plus More Sudoku Puzzles. This is puzzle number 89, a hard puzzle. And this book is out on Amazon and other places online that you can get now. Uh, and before, before we get started, I wanted to mention that you can print the puzzle so you can follow along if you'd like to. Just go to this link here in the description below, uh, uh, there by Print This Puzzle and Solution, or you can go to sudokuprimer.com and go to this menu item, print, your, print YouTube puzzles before you watch. Either way, you can uh, get to that place where you can uh, um, print the puzzles. Well, we're... Um, this puzzle it gets pretty tricky, but we use a couple of techniques, including unique rectangles and double column elimination to get going again. At first, we've got a, uh, an eight here, eight, eight there, so that's an eight. An eight, eight, eight there, so that's an eight. And eight, eight, eight ghost eights. So that's an eight there. Got a five here in box <clears throat> four right here. Five, five, five. And we got a nine here, nine here. So that's a nine right there. And believe it or not, we're stuck at this point. We, uh, Found all the easy numbers, and now we've we've got to a point where it's get it's a little bit hard. Um, we'll have to find some techniques to uh, get past there. Let's look at this column right here. What are we missing? One, three, four, six, nine. One, three, four, six, nine. Now notice there's a 1, 4, and a 9 here, so that's a 3 or a 6. Looking at numbers that are there, I mentioned that in a previous video recently. And here we have a 1, 4, and a 9 also, so that's also a 3, 6. So we have 3, 6 twins, and that's, so that's a 1 or a 4 with that 9, and that's 1, 4, 9, 1, 4, 9. 1, 4, 9 triplets. And we've got a 6 here and a 6 here, so one of these is a 6, but we know now that this is 1, 4, or 9, so the 6 has to go right there. So we'll put it in right there. All right, and now um, we've got a 3 here and ghost 3's here. So the three in box five has to go here or here. We've also got a gate pattern right here with a three going through it and a three here. So we have ghost threes right there and a three there. So one of these is a three. Now using double column elimination, one of these is a three, one of these is a three. We know in box two here that that has to be a three. Right now I've got a three here, three here, three, three. So that's a three right there. All right. And now we get stuck again because um, we can't find any more numbers. But let's look at this, these three, six twins here. Remember I mentioned the three has to go here or here and here or here in box seven. So box five here, I mean box eight, sorry. Three goes here or here in box five and here or here in box eight. And we got three six twins here. So 
because one of these is a three, neither one of these can be a six use when we use when we think about unique rectangles. Neither of these can be a six. One of these has to be a three, one of these has to be a three, one of these has to be a six, so neither of these can be a six. So let's look at box eight here. We have a six here and a six here. We know these are three six twins there, so that can't be a six. That can't be a six because neither of these can be a six. So this is the only place a six can go in box eight. And because of that six, we can fill in that three right there. And we can fill in this three right here. All right. And now we've got um, let's see a six in one of these places right here, and uh, we that can't be a six. Uh, we just we already we just determined that because these URs right here. And so the six has to be in one of these two places, and here in box four, one of these two places. So the six in box six has to be there, because there's a six there, using double row elimination this time. Six there, six there, so that's a six right there. All right. Um, all right, now let's look at row seven here. We're missing only two numbers, five and seven. There's a five there, so we can fill in the five and seven in row seven to complete that row. All right, and now we've got a seven here, seven here, so that's a seven. And uh, <clears throat> got a four here. Let's see what we're missing here. Uh, this is actually, um, if you remember, we can't have a 6 here because of these URs. And we've got an 8 here and a 6 here. So these are 6, 8 twins right there. And so we're only missing 4 and 7 here. And there's a 4 there, so we can put a 7 there and a 4 there. And these are 6, 8 twins, which we can't solve yet. All right. Well, actually, let's look at this a little closer. Um, here we've got an 8 and an 8. Eight. So what are we missing here? 3, 4, and 6. So one of these is a 4. Well, that's a 3. Okay, that, that 3 right there. 3, and that makes that a 3 right there. Okay, now we're missing 4 and 6 here. See that? And that makes that a 6 right there because we have ghost 6s there. So six and eight, but let's let me look at this four and six here. Can we four four? No, we can't solve those yet. All right. And we've got a one here, one here, so that's a one right there. Now these are one four. Four right there because we've only we've got one and four there already. Let's see what are we missing here? One, two, three, four, five, seven. We're missing five and seven there. So these are one and four. With that four, we can solve those. All right. Now we got a one here, one here, one there. So we can put a one in box nine. And uh, <clears throat> let's look at column nine here. We're missing two. Seven two seven nine. There's a two and a seven, so that's a nine right there. Now we've got two sevens there and two seven there, which I don't think we can solve yet. 
All right, now with that nine, we've got a nine there, a nine there, so that's a nine right there. All right, let's look at row two now. Let's see what we're missing. One, four, five. One, four, and five. So four, one, five. Oh, well, there's four and five. So that's a one right there. The only number left in that column. <laughs> okay, so that's a, there's a four there. So that's a five and that's a four. All right, and now we've got, um, let's see. Nine, nine there, nine, five, seven, seven, seven. Five, five, five. Okay, there's a there's a five right there. That one is pretty easy. I just didn't see it right away. All right, now we're missing one, two, uh, one and two in this column. There's a one there, so that's a two and that's a one. All right, and then got two here, two here, so that's a two right there. And now, now we're only missing four and nine in box one. With that nine, we can finish it. And a five and a four in box two. With that four, we can finish that. All right, now we're missing five there. Put in a five there, five, 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 okay. Here we're only missing one number, it's a six. And these are four and six there. And uh, let's see what we're missing there. Nine, four, six, nine, four, six, five, eight, one, five, one. So that's an eight. And now we're missing two, seven right there. Two, seven. Two, seven this way, two, seven this way, two, seven, two, seven. So we've got two sevens there, two sevens there. So that's a one. Okay, so two, seven, two, seven, two, seven, two, seven. And these are five, seven right here. With that five, we can finish those. And now we know these two sevens. With that seven, we got a two, seven, two, seven, two, seven. And we're done. Okay. Well, with this one, we uh, um, kind of got stuck a couple of times. First, we found these three six twins. Then we used these three six well, we didn't use the URs right away. We used uh, double column elimination here to find that three, and then double row elimination to find a six. And then we used these uh, unique rectangles here a couple times to uh, finish off uh, these other things. And after that, the puzzle got pretty easy. Well, this puzzle showed you how to use URs and get past hard spots using some subtle twins and some double row and column elimination and uh, the URs I mentioned. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next week.